everyone and welcome back to an episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2 where today we're going to be looking at Chaos Theory Mode. Now, actually, I thought it would be a bit of a meme if I just never completed Theory Mode because they're kind of just parks or at least from, you know, I played The Lost World a little bit. Uh, we played Jurassic Park, we completed it um, and I did start Jurassic World for two seconds and it was like, yeah! Build it! But apparently, I mean, after my recent collab with Evolution Squared, which you haven't checked out, do we did a race to five stars on Medium in Canada. Uh, the results will most likely shock you. Uh, but today we're going to be looking at San Diego because I was told by, um, by Evolution Squared, at least with some of these, they reach meme level quality of comedy. So I'm assuming that I've heard either Sauna Site B, like the Rust Park 3 and the Fallen Kingdom, are like really short. So... I don't know. I think we're, instead of just jumping to the memes, which is probably those two, um, we're going to do San Diego. Um, now, I did dress up pretty quickly. I've done, I've played every challenge mode and I've, you know, I've, I've, I think, you know, I've got 70 hours in the game now. And I'm hoping that with Jurassic Park San Diego, we'll be able to just have a nice Everyone cruise so through. Caught up in the moment. So impressed with Ooh, what here we go. accomplished. And then... Damn, later, I forgot the subtitles. <laughs> ah, enjoy the pretty an picture. Called Site B. Here was where Ingen had cloned most of the dinosaurs that would eventually oh, it be takes transported me back. to Jurassic Park. What's going on? <laughs> Secret. If not for human <laughs> there curiosity, we go. need a Remain one. Peter Ludlow was now in charge of Ingen, tasked with bringing his uncle's vision to life. John Hammond had won his precious animals to belong to the world. John sent a team to document the dinosaurs. What we found, to our amazement, was how quickly the dinosaurs had adapted. They had made the island their own. Ludlow had the investors. He had secured a location, but he still needed dinosaurs. And now he knew where to get them. What if... Chaos yielded a different outcome. What if Ludlow's mission was successful and Jurassic Park San Diego had become reality? Oh, I hope, I hope Frontier got some original set shots because that looks so freaking good. Oh, I love it. Also, I'm, I mean, I'm thinking about this, of course, it's a what-if story. Imagine if they'd done, like, you were on Isla Sauna, and instead of building a park, you took control of Jeeps, and you had, like, Ian Malcolm or Sarah Harding in them, a bit like Chaos Island, if you've ever played that old game, and you were trying to stop the poachers and stuff by, like, shooting the traps and, and avoiding, like, your, your vehicle being damaged by stampeding dinosaurs. That Imagine! Is quite, um... The clouds! The clouds, so, the attack! Ago, <laughs> was this place abandoned by Ingen? Oh, <laughs> years. Jesus! After the, the incident at our first site, we listened to the concerns, Doctor. That's why Jurassic Park San Diego was put on hold. Hold? Right, but not cancelled. Uh, Mr. Mr. Thompson. I believe in the work, you know? That's why I'm here. Yeah, and I'm here because I believe that I can advise you on how to avoid mistakes made previously. Understood. I know I can realize the original vision. Jesus! <laughs> Imagine I flying in a helicopter like that. I'd be a bit terrified. Confidence. <laughs> I've seen it before. Oh. And I like it. Oh. Listen to the mission briefing. Okay. Hold on. Before I do, let's turn on subtitles. Welcome to San Diego. Lily Dr. Halford! My name's Lily Halford. I'm in charge of operations, and I must say it's absolutely fantastic that you're here. Mr. Thompson wasn't sure you'd say yes. Well, Mr. Thompson doesn't Mr. understand. Mr. Thompson's chaos, an idiot then! <laughs> alimony payments. But, you know, he'll, uh, he'll learn, as you will, Lily. It, uh, it comes with a territory. To love me. Love me, Lily. I'm looking forward to it, <laughs> I think. Well, as you can see, at the moment, the entire facility is a bit of a mess. Yeah, I saw it from the air. Looks uh, even worse from the ground. I mean, there's not really much there, though, is there, if we're going to be honest? Everything has to start somewhere, even when it's starting over. 
So why don't we begin with the construction of a response facility and take it from there? Yes, let's. This is what we're going to use to fix everything. And then we need a generator to power everything. And then... Oh, we can't get anything else. Oh, wait, we need to repair that. That's right. Okay, we'll speed this up. I'm excited. Oh, I remember playing this. Oh, it was so good. I remember watching Jeff Goldblum play it too. That was also so good. <laughs> so I thought we'd get the buildings repaired. Did you? Well, I'm going to give it a good shot. Repair these buildings. Control center, viewing gallery, and science center. Well... I might as well do it myself, since there's no quicker way of doing it than yourself. We'll also try and fix these fences. Now, I know kind of what happens, so I'm going to try my best to make enclosures kind of work, I think. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll try our best here. We'll try our best. And then we'll just task this to, like, fix fences. Although it's not telling me that these fences need fixing. Yeah, okay. I once heard someone say that determination is power, and I like that, but let's flip it around. Together, we are determined to power everything. Oh. With actual power. Oh. How does that sound? I mean, it sounds good if we can actually have a power station. Oh, what's, what's our scientist situation on? Ah, they're terrible. Ah, brilliant. Well, yes, they're, they're, they're terrible. There's no getting past it. They're, they're, they're awful. <laughs> well, we're going to buy him because he's amazing at welfare. But we really need logistics. We need... Oh, she's a logistic pro. Look at that. Look at... I increase logistic potential by five and logistic skill by three. What does that actually mean, though? I don't... Like, it, potential, I'm assuming, that means she can get ten. And then a logistic skill by three. So would she have been a two before? I'm assuming that's what that means, but we definitely need to, uh, to, uh, to do this. I wasn't checking. Cheaper research, logistic, mastermind, and we'll put something else on, I think, because then I think that makes it faster. I could be wrong. I think that's how it works. The, the more scientists we put on, the quicker it gets done. Um, we'll also fix this fence as well. So the only thing I'm worrying about when it comes to this is the Mementiosaurus. <gasps> the Mementiosaurus. So we're going to sort of fill this all in. Um, and I'm going to put viewing uh, areas... Ooh, God. Around. And now that I know what dinosaurs go with what, I'm thinking, yeah, what we'll do is we'll, we'll leave space. This is what I didn't do last time. Leave space uh, for amenities at the top. That's the difference. Um, we can sort of do that. Um, oh, what should be better, actually, is me just doing this. So we only need, well, if we put that there as well, we're pretty golden. And this one needs it too. And ooh, ooh, what do we do, guys? I do genuinely really like this game. And I'm not saying that because hey, it brings in money. No, it is so fun. Um, wh whether it's you enjoy, you know, getting your scientists to the level where it's like, yeah, yeah, I've got like the good combo. So, you know, um, getting fossils and stuff is super quick. Oh, it's just so satisfying in so many different ways. I honestly really enjoy it. And every time I play it, I come, you know, there's, there's different ways of doing it. Like your, the eggs you incubate could be completely different. Um, you might not get as many, um, with the batch sizes, uh, there's just so much potential. I really enjoy playing this game. I know I should be. I should be. Really, they should be paying me. Isn't that weird? The Frontiers never. Well, I guess they have kind of paid. I suppose <laughs> they've paid when it's come to flying me out to San Diego and all these other things. But I've never once taken a paid thing from them because I think they know that. Well, for a start, they don't need to because <laughs> it saves them money. But at the same time, um. Like, it would just come off as like, oh, he's, he's, they paid him? Really? Uh, which is interesting. It's an interesting beast because then I see other content creators that obviously don't play uh, Frontiers stuff in the past and then they've been paid to play it. So it is just one of those things. I don't know. It's, it's, it is like, huh. I, I know they really appreciate all the content I do for them because I, I mean, you know, to do my own horn, but I do put in a lot of effort and a lot of love goes into this. I think you're forgetting about a special someone. Me. Um, but at the same time, they don't, 
pay me for it. So <laughs> it's like they, they appreciate it, but it's ah, it's it's, it's interesting. I'm, and I'm not even asking at all. I'm just it's just an interesting observation I made on the spot. And of course, this is what happens. I don't plan out any videos and we end up getting bits like this. So I think what we can do, I mean, it's a power station, right? So does it really need to go? I mean, it can probably just go back here. It doesn't need to be close to anything. Uh, they're sort of powered. What I'll do is I'll jump into the enclosures themselves. I think that's that's all right. We'll put a power station there. Uh, we'll put a power station there. Because if I put it outside, that's where we can uh, run into issues. Because we might want to put uh, the other things in there. Also, we we'll want to power the amphitheater. I completely forgot about it. Uh, so we'll probably put that there. And then we'll put... Uh, maybe there... I'm trying to think what gives me more space, but then the building constraint there. Yeah, go on, why not? So, once that's connected through a path, we should be great. Um, and now you guys can all play it, so I'll be really interested uh, to hear your ideas. I know uh, loads of YouTubers and that have um, given their, thrown their two cents in um, for what how they think the game is. But I, and I'm sure there's pros and cons to everything. Loads of aquatics should be, day. you know, there should be animations the and I don't know, loads of stuff. Anyway, of plot, plot. Well, wait a minute. Isn't isn't most of the original site destroyed? Destroyed, but not abandoned. The assets still belong to InGen. Money. So we're going to leverage them here in our new park. We're starting with a herbivore. We want to make sure it's well cared for, obviously, so we'll be monitoring its welfare. <laughs> Hope for the best, plan for the worst. And I mean, that's how sure I live my life. The nearest exit. Hey, Jeff, you're so funny. I love you. Uh, oh, four. Right, okay. Well, this isn't the biggest one. This is only the Pachycephalosauruses. Um, and I'm wondering if they can go in with paras. I'm pretty sure they can go in with compies. Compies are fine with everything. Except for stuff that can eat them. That's the only problem they have. They don't like to be eaten. It, it's, it's a weird request. But, you know, it is what it is. They just don't like it. So, yeah. I guess I'll grant them that. Uh, so, this is gonna be the future Mementosaur exhibit. No, this is the T-Rex exhibit. This one. Uh, and this is one of the only maps I know of so far, because I've only ever played this one, um, that allows you to... Um, oh, what is it? Um, uh, unlock the map. Because all the challenge modes, I've never had that. I've never had, you know, you able to unlock the maps. Which is interesting, because it was definitely one thing um, that they said. That Frontier said, oh, you you know, you'll be able to uh, buy, expand maps and stuff like that. Research the expansion. And maybe they said some. Maybe some. And that's probably where I'm getting that idea from. So we're going to try and make this really easy for our ranger teams to navigate. Adding fences. Okay. The path must be too close there. Ah, don't you love when you make mistakes like that? Brilliant! Yes. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll place that. It's... Yeah, I think that'll do. Yeah, that's probably just far enough away. Yeah, yeah, go on. Ah, who cares, really? Uh, but the, the good thing is with this, you can, if you want to, continue playing it. It's not like campaign mode where it just, you know, all of a sudden it's like, yep, ah, you're done. That's it. That's, all, that's your lot. Um... You know, we'll place that there, and then we'll place that there, and then we can start the cycle. So I'm assuming increased comfort by, uh, I, you know, I don't know what they like. I mean, I'm assuming, just going out on a limb here, they might want some water. And then, I assume they probably want some forest. Although, now we've got the, the stair, so we can actually check. That's probably the best. No, they don't. They just want ground lift. A little bit of ground lift. And there you go. Next will be the Paris, I think. I think it will. Think it's think it's the Paris. We'll we'll find out in a second. Definitely. It's really starting to feel like the park is coming together. I've already seen one come apart. All of our safety precautions are. Oh, we such a hipster, enough. Jeff. I was there before they it was be cool. The <laughs> we have a small carnivore arriving. Ooh! And larger carnivores too, which are not any kind of cute, if you ask me. Oh, they um, are, Jeff. Knowing your history with a particular species, Mr. Thompson thought it best not to trouble you with the details. Oh, yeah, no, I've seen what a T-Rex can do. Uh, my, my therapist and I talk about it all the time. 
It's a. I it's love that in, when they did the Jesse Cox and, and Jeff Goldblum gameplay. Here. They actually, he was like, <laughs> no, uh, therapist. <laughs> we know what we're doing. <laughs> yes, me. Yes. I like how they added my therapist. Yes. And uh, here's the thing, Thompson. I know what you're doing as well. Sort of giving Jeff, you know, like an extra personality in a way. Like, oh, you know, there's more. He's more than just. Uh, you know, this character who was in the Lost World, he has to, now he has to suffer with the consequences. Um, so, oh, there we go, transport two dinosaurs. Oh, was it, was it one? Right, so this is the T-Rex one. Uh, oh god, uh, yes, there's the other one. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited, so you can do those two, and then these you species, can do these the three. The are central to our success at the park. They'll draw in the crowds. So now that they're here... Let's ensure they're comfortable. Right. Okay. So now we need the prey because I think T Rex is one of those. Well, I mean, if as long as it's not a compy, you can probably guarantee it's gonna need live prey. Um, and what something that um, Evo Squared mentioned was that um, uh, Frontier said that you know they they hope that they make a game where you can play this for weeks or months and you'll still come across new animations so i i had a we we after we stopped recording we mentioned about having um a special animation for the mosasaur and the pterodons so what has to happen is a pteranodon has to break out and when the pteranodon breaks out um that's it has to it has to attack a person pick them up fly over the lagoon that has a mosasaur and then you recreate the zara scene uh, that would be amazing. <laughs> like, can you imagine if they went to that depth to make such a freaking unique animation? That would be sweet. Okay, so we got... Oh, well, I mean, in the meantime, you can just check up on the Rexes. That that would be good, too. Oh, running low on power. Running low. Whoa. Fill her up. So the T-Rexes are... Oh, entering the amphitheater. I've never seen that before. That is cool. We've got the book, and apparently their age is one. So I don't understand how that works. But anyway, so we got, we need the prey, we need the sand. So we got the prey now, so we'll put the prey, ooh, too close to a dinosaur, put the prey there. Um, next we need, of course, a little bit of water. Next is a sand, which we can make a lot of it. Oh god, wow, it needs a lot of sand, doesn't it? Woo! Wait, how much sand? Is it, is it, oh, there's multiple different sands. Is this better? That's a better sand. And they need two preys. Wow. Have one over there too. Perfect. There you go. We're doing so good. We're only 30 minutes in and I think we're halfway through. <laughs> I don't think we are. We're getting there though. It. This wouldn't have happened without you, Dr. Malcolm. You're welcome. I want it on record. Uh, I'm not in favor of this park's existence. <laughs> this was John Hammond's dream. Delayed. But not denied. Right. Oh, open. Okay, we need to open now. So now we need to make money. Open the park at night! Is that where we got the cutscene? Dr. Malcolm, this facility brings needed stability to InGen's operations. Yes. That's a win for us both. Yes. So it would appear. And the park is a unique opportunity for our guests. Or, uh, you know, for the hungry dinosaurs. Oh, okay, there Jurassic we go. Jurassic Park. Good, we're Diego. opening at midnight. Isn't it something? <laughs> the midnight launch! Oh, it's something, all right. A living illusion. <laughs> something, all right. Rubbish. <laughs> yes, we opened San Diego. Look at that. Not symmetrical. What's going on? Now we need to do just do the, like, the guest comforts and stuff. Obviously near attractions. As impressive as the park is, it can't always be improved. Specifically in the area of guest comfort. Yes. We need to get the numbers up. Who doesn't love a cold drink? <gasps> and it's a good way to keep up our profits. Me? Keep an eye on the drinks amenity and the money should flow. Ultimately, everyone is at the park for one reason. To see dinosaurs. This is the only place in the world they can. And they want to. That's why you need to increase our dinosaur visibility. Give our guests a view their eyes won't believe. Alright, I was hoping that I'd be able to, I don't know, do something about that there, but uh, apparently not. Okay, so we need increase the guest comfort to 12%. Okay, uh, we'll probably put, I mean, a hotel, hotels are really good when they can see loads of things. So if I put that there, I think that'll be really good. 
It'd be really, you know, it'd be cool. We've got the Jurassic World aesthetic. We've got the Jurassic Park aesthetic. Um, but what would be awesome would be if we had um, the, like, Lost World aesthetic. Could you imagine, like, tin buildings or, well, not tin, but, you know, metal buildings. That would be awesome. Right, so we need to probably need more power with 20 out of 60. Actually, we're not, we're not doing that bad. We're not doing that bad. But what I will do is I'll replace that because now we need... Uh, some power here because we don't have any power. So we'll connect that to that and that can connect to there. So that's that done. So we've got everything being viewed here and then the T-Rexes, which unfortunately there's no way to view them at the moment. So we're going to have to go into here. Uh, guest attraction basic. Kind of want to go for that, but we need to get so many guests in the park. So a basic, basic of this. And I don't have an extraction, so I, I'm wondering... If we need that. We'll do cheap research as well. And we'll add one more person. Yeah, you see the time go down there. So we've taken an extra 10 seconds off the clock there for that one. But that one's going to be fixed really quick. Um, let's have a look at uh, everything else. So toilets are good. Even though everyone's just apparently down here. Uh, so we got that, got that. So it is literally just the gifts. They want a gift shop. And by Jove, we're going to give it to them. Uh, so now we need to switch this. Um, now, supposedly there was a patch to fix the guests' needs. So they're not, you know, all, as you can see, which is basically uh, green and the regular. Now, I don't know what the regular is. Does it tell you? No, it doesn't tell you. It tells you the, the type, though. Um, right, so... Or at least it tells you what we're needing. It doesn't say what they are specifically. But there we go, making making somewhat a profit on there. And then we'll do the same here. I say somewhat a profit, there's really no profit. <laughs> uh, oh, we're all done there, sweet. Still losing money, fantastic. Now, can I make an operate? Uh, there we go, expedition. We're going to need that. Because expeditions are a great way to make money, especially if you find some platinum. It's gorgeous. All right, so increase profit per minute. We're at minus, we're, we're very bad at the moment. Um, shelter coverage, uh, toilets. Really, what people are going to want is when we place a viewer down here. And then we're going to need a lot of uh, everything. Because this is where they're going to see the T-Rex. Or at least it's one viewing area for the T-Rex. Uh, we could even place another viewing area here. Um, ooh, look at them! The male, the buck T-Rex and the female brown. Was the female always brown? I don't think it was. I feel like they were both kind of green. I mean, the male was probably less green. Uh, or like more... It had it had its like orange stripe on its head. But apart from that, I think I think they were both green. I think... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there was some... Maybe the anim animatronic was brown. That's it. But I'm just remembering the final scene where they, they both look green. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look at that management. So, yes, we've got a lot of toilets needed over here. So, let's go grab a toilet and a shelter. Why not? And then a toilet. <laughs> oh, it needs power. Oh, that's a shame. Will we also need a toilet over this way? You know, you never can. You never can tell when you're gonna need to go. Uh, now, food. We need, I think, probably... Food's probably best... Like, we can definitely place food there. We can place... We're going to make lots of... Oh, we are actually making a profit now. Interestingly enough, we are. Overall, once I start adding more stuff, we should be good. We're going to need some power, however. Always need power. Now, where should this go? I think we'll run over here. This way, and then boom! Gorgeous. So once those are set up, we'll have a look at the management. I'm assuming maybe something over here? Uh, not actually. Not actually. Crowding's good. What about trans- Oh, we there's no transport. Ah, that's good. That means we, we can fly and do whatever we want and not care about monorails. Because this one don't come with no monorail. Right, okay. So now we just need to quickly go in here. Do the same. You see, look for two greens and then look for the regular. And basically that's you done. Like, there's nothing more I can do there. <laughs> there's really nothing more I can do. Oh, are we done? Oh, we're getting our monthly report. Or our quarter. That's right. We need Peter Ludlow to go. Hello. James, what are you doing, you fool? You're not selling enough 
toys. More toys plushies. I know they're sold out. I apologize. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. Maybe we'll work on another one, though. So here we go. Um, we're getting a decent amount. Is there anything? Oh, look at that. Oh, we've got crowds. Right. So I think I've researched the bigger path. <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't researched the comfort. Um, and the comfort is this one. Wider paths. That's what we need to do. Logistics, cheaper research, and one extra. And that'll be done in two friggin' seconds. Uh, and then we can do that. And we're done! Oh, beautiful! Paris for all of us and Memento. Oh, inbound, dear. And I need the park ready for their delivery. They'll also require suitable enclosures and support. Yes. So what's the uh, what's the latest addition to the menu besides us? <laughs> A few herbivores, simple to manage. There's nothing simple about managing dinosaurs. I mean, in this game, it's relatively simple. <laughs> I think you're a, you're a worrywart a bit there, Jeff. Just a bit bit of a worrywart. We've got this under control, dear. <laughs> under control. Don't worry. Status check. We've got three on him. There's four. I think that one's probably got a bit too much, though. Uh, maybe we should send off a dig team. Yeah, sure. Let's see if we can... What's cheap? 300,000, 300,000, 95,000 for a Dilo. Perfect. I'm sure we'll get something good for that. So we've got Mementosaurus there. Uh, Para can go in one of these. Um, probably this one, actually, because we've already got the, the bases set up. So once they're put in, more money instantly. It's going to be a little bit of crowding. But apart from that, I think we're good. So we're going to switch this to change. Oh, there we go. We've got five Paras. One, two, for each knee, san, yo, go. There you go. We'll learn Japanese. Next time we'll do German and then Spanish. Espanol. There we go. Look at them. Gorgeous babes. Right, okay. Uh, we'll, we'll have a look at one or two or three or four. Uh, and then the Mementosaur. Now, these guys need a freaking load of space. A bit like the Brachiosaurus do. It's, it's ridiculous. Oh, yes. There we go. Ho, 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 ho. Yes. Yes. Uh, oh, okay. That's all we can do. Right. Brilliant. I've only got those. Oh, dear. We should probably research a staff center. So, where's that jeep that's doing it? Oh, we'll find out, won't we? Uh, I'll also... Planned. Or so it appears. But, InGen needs more samples, so we're returning to traditional paleontology. A simpler time, when the science was digging bones out of the ground instead of bringing them to life. I've given Ms. Halford the requirements. We've got to increase guest count. Yes, of we course. do. We need more oh, guests. Of course. And then build an expedition center so we can send out teams to get Already new done. samples, which will give us more <laughs> species diversity. That's sensible, I guess. Mm. This should help our park rating, which we want to increase. Well, that's um, uh, ambitious. And that should lead to greater profits. <laughs> so predictable. Yes. See. You know, there's some patterns in the universe that defy the laws of chaos by being so obvious. And the so-called bottom line is one of the shining stars. That's what caused the original park to collapse, hubris and greed. Maybe they don't need so the much space. Oh, my God. <laughs> Malcolm, but InGen needs to recover its losses. And this park is helping that cause. We've learned from our mistakes. I fear that what you've learned is that, uh, like a phoenix, InGen has risen from the ashes of disaster, which means you think you can do so again. I mean, yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, we're doing so well. I, I mean, oh god. Ooh. Well, it kind of fits through perfectly until it clipped through there. That I was like about to commend them. Wow, they put like collisions on there, but no. <laughs> so 200 out of 200. Uh, we'll have a look at what demands are. Oh God, they want lots of shopping. Shopping! You can get all your best buys there. So once that dig team comes back, um, we'll see if Dilophosaurus is done because we need to increase total dinosaur species just one more. And we could probably do the Dilophosaurus, which means that we're gonna need a hatchery. Um, so we do need two of the thingy me bobbies. The, um, what they're called. The potions. Genetics, that's it. <laughs> the potions. Bring me my potion. 
Uh, now, I'll sell that, sell that. Yeah, might as well just put those in. Or maybe even a Struthiomimus. We could probably put the Struthiomimus uh, in. Oh, God, hold on. Oh, she's a, she, she's a little bit uh, little bit needy. We can probably put the Struthiomimus in here with uh, the Mementosaurus, actually. So once that's extracted, um, we've just used our cogs. Oh, sorry, our genetics. So we have to wait for them to be done. But if we look at this, I think we're, we're doing pretty well. Uh, okay, maybe a little bit more drink. We'll put a drink over here as well. So one drink there. And now that that one's built, we'll just quickly do the little finessing that we need to do. Which is that. Because we can't satisfy everybody. Go back in. Uh, food. Ooh, there's definitely food needs. Food needs doing here. And I think we can put one in on this side. Yeah. However, we will. It will need its own source of power. Could make a generator for it, but why would we do that? Look, you, we can't literally make anything here. So it only makes sense for us to do that and just put that with a power cable. Um, and I'm not really going to bother changing those. It really could have been spending a lot of time with the park, but I'm not, so. <laughs> oh, she's disgruntled. Well, she's got to wait a little bit longer because I still haven't got a re uh, staff building, so I apologize. Um, and she's the one with gin. Oh, God. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> right. So, how are we doing for genetics? Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, we need to wait now. We're doing good. We're flying food. 27 minutes. We've got two of them, except for just increase the species count. And I could do that if I just had a hatchery, which I don't have at the moment. Uh, and now I can go in here and make a lovely staff facility building. Beautiful. I think maybe you need a park. Wow. I had like an hour in the... Uh, in the, the little test that we played for this. And I, I basically got up to here. That was it. Just shows when you when you play this game so much. Um, what a difference. A day makes disgruntled. Yes, I know. Uh, so w what do we need, really? I don't know exactly. Logistics is a cheaper expedition. Yes. Because we're going to need more uh, species, I would assume. Uh, genetics is good. Fast, faster synthesis is also good. Cheaper synthesis. Ooh, yeah, but she has seven for genetics. And I think we're, she's the best one for genetics. No, we have a ten! We have a ten, and he's super cheap! Oh! Esan, you're amazing! I love you! Mwah, mwah. Right, let's go to research. And now we can do the hatchery. Uh, so it's just one of that, um, and then a cheaper... Oh, we don't have a cheaper research. How much does this cost? Oh, it's only 50? <laughs> Research, uh, why is researching wider path, like, so horrible, apparently? <laughs> oh, we've got... Oh, we got some major things here. Ground control to major dumb. We're gonna have to put these in. Uh, and then we're gonna need to just spruce this place up. Add a little bit of a shelter there. Add a bog. You know, get people want to use the toilet. That's... Oh, God. And then click the escape button, because you roll like that, you know. Uh, and then, that's the hatchery done. So we can probably put the hatchery... Oh, I don't know, like... Ooh, we can't actually put it there. That's interesting. Oh, look at that! That's almost perfect! It's here, between all, all of the uh, the facilities. It's like I meant for that to happen, isn't it? <laughs> so good. <laughs> it's so fun! I love this game! It's awesome! Okay, so we have a Dilophosaurus on 81%. Um, you know what? I'm going to make sure it's not sickly, so we will research... Uh, the shark, that's it. Hopefully it doesn't have any demands. No, it's good. It's good. Yeah, started. Thank you. Uh, uh, we got cheaper. Oh my god, they're, they're still resting. Well, it's done in a minute anyway, so it's fine. And then once that's done, we'll make some good Dilophosauruses. I feel like I barely want to cut anything out from this. We're doing so good. Uh, okay, so what have we got that now needs? Uh, it's a little bit there. Food, yeah, basically, yeah, food and drink. Um, so we'll make a drink stand. Ooh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's awkward. We can't really put anything else there, even if I make that there. I could probably switch over the toilet to here and then move that along to here. Oh, 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 oh God, there's so much. Oh, we're increasing. All right, and then... We can add the gift shop because the food's just over there. So the need for food isn't too bad. So once this is up... Oh, you can do it while it's being made. Oh, that's great. 
Right, so we'll we'll do that. There we go. And then this one. Uh, if you just see the fish tank and the general gas, just go for it. You're good. Oh, we got fire. Oh, interesting. Ooh, if we had a fire under that. Oh, okay. That's that's the best we're going to do. So now we're making a profit. Um, and we should have done the research. Oh, look at all the stuff we're unlocking. So there's, there's loads of scope for this. Um, so now we'll just make sure... I just want to make sure it's not as sickly as it can be. Um, we'll synthesize... We'll do two syntheses of it. So faster synthesis there. Um, that's him done. I think we can probably do one more. No, we can't. Okay, we're gonna have to wait. But it's only like a couple of seconds anyway. And then we'll do another one exactly the same. In fact, actually, what I will do... Because because we can. Oh, it's so fun. We'll change the skin! To a, yeah, mangrove forest. I don't think I've seen the mangrove forest. Let's have a look. So even if you're, you know, you've seen me release all these things before, um, there's something new for you. So we now need to put him in a timeout. He's going in the timeout square. He's done very well. Um, do we need a paleo research facility? I'm assuming we do. Okay, let's look for another cheapy. Uh, 40 grand for a street mimus. That's good. Uh, cheaper expeditions. And that's all we need, really. Brilliant. Okay. Let's have a look at the eggs now. I think it's wealth of... Oh, look at that. Bam. Beautiful. Okay. So they only need three. So we can't do the other eggs at the moment because we've got people, you know, on their rest break. We're, we're a working park here. we got to let them have their Starbucks. Hold on. Where's my cushion? Yay. <laughs> oh, it's all about comfort, isn't it? Oh, I love this. I do. I, I genuinely love this game so much. It's amazing just what a little bit of, you know, life... Oh my good god! Do we need that many? You know what? I'm gonna take away a couple. Because we've already done, like... How many in the other one? S five. Okay, I... I don't know if there is a limit. Six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine of them. You know what? If they kill each other... <sighs> <laughs> few airlift. Here we go. Via airlift, not view, James, you fool. So one, two, three, four, land. five. Oh, that sounds all kinds of concerning. Ooh. We're outgrowing our current facility size. Success breeds expansion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got a caution against uh, uh, biting off more than you can chew, which isn't a problem for the dinosaurs, but they is a good. recurring issue for humanity. I think it'll be all right, Dr. Malcolm. The state of California has approved the permit. They're as excited by Jurassic Park San Diego's success as we are. There are a few requirements. Yes, as one would expect. And uh, I'm one who would expect. We'll need to purchase the land, but then we should be good to go. Good to go? Uh, where? You know, that's always been one of the issues with this type of paleontology, hasn't it? Not where we are. But where we're headed, because that's where you find chaos, waiting, uh, patiently. <laughs> oh, this man loves his chaos, doesn't he? So I think we need to do the expansion. Yeah, expand park boundaries. I was going to say, oh, I almost had time to thingy it there. All right. Is that, every, is that the best we Yes, yeah, at the moment there is. We've got expedition. Tab is great that you can just like literally go whoop, 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 done. So, we got something there. That's not too bad. Uh, is there anything here? Just some some of that. Now, map boundary. Where will that be? Expand. Oh, yeah. It's not even there. It's Oh, no. It is here. We got two. So, it's 13 cogs. And we're good. Oh, no. Five. I have 13 in total. Okay. So, we're going to do that. But I think we're doing really good here. Uh, via airlift. Oh, yes. Can't forget about the dialogues. They will break out if I don't remember what they want. And in fact, this might be a bit too small for them. Oh god. Oh god. I was a bit worried. I thought I heard rumbling like outside, but it's actually in the game. <laughs> Species count is a measure of how the park is doing and how you are doing. We're making solid progress, but we still need more dinosaurs. One way we can get there is by increasing a dinosaur's genome percentage. See that our scientists are focused on making it happen. Don't forget to check in with the expedition center. Ah. It should be a beehive of activity, and there's always opportunity to be found. Okay, so we of need we want paleo as to well. Visit the dinosaurs, but we also want to track specific guest types that can affect our ratings. 
Remember to stay focused on our park rating for continued success. Wait, where's the... Needs treatment. Oh, he's got a little bit of an ailment. Oh, bless him. Oh, so that's what dust storms do. They knock out your... um. They knock out your power. So you've only got generators left. Ah, interesting. Yeah, storm power outage. Okay, so increase total dinosaur species to eight. That's not too bad, because we can literally just go in here and make a Struthiomimus. That's and, and release it straight away in here. Uh, we'll go on, we'll do that. And as soon as he's done, which he will be in a second, because he's so good. We can rest him, rest him. And I'm pretty sure anybody, anybody. Oh, only three! Oh, that's a shame. Uh, let's make a couple more, and we'll see if we can actually head off two, if we can, actually, uh, to Gallimimus, because Gallimimus would be another one that we could put in. Ooh, or not. We've already got Paras, Comsognathus, Comsognathus, unless it's a research, it might be a research. A Padasaur might be good in there, but let's have a look. There's Gallimimus. Okay, right, so we need to be three stars. We will probably be okay. Once this storm's over, which it is. Okay, so we'll configure... No, not you! Open all shelter or close all shelters. There we go. So we've got some ailments. I'm assuming that's just them killing each other because there's too many of them. And I... <laughs> it is what it is. They're just going to attack each other. Um, I thought I'd made too many. And I think that's probably what's making them disgruntled. Um, where's the population nine? Oh, then no, it seems to be okay, but if they die, they die. It's unfortunate, but hey, uh. <laughs> bit like they can't be. It's like when those Zootoceratops, you can have some that just fight and attack each other, and you might as well just let them duke it out, in other words. So, one, two, three, four. I, yeah. And how many do we have in here? Two. So, four in total. I think we'll be fine. So, that is just one. So, there you go. And then select you, and two, sure, why not? And then we need to send off a dig team. What did I say I was gonna go for? I was gonna research something, wasn't I? I think that was the Gallimimus, and I did need three stars. We should still be getting there. I'm expecting, maybe when we release Struthiomimus, that'll push us over to three stars, because what would be really good is if I can just have um, Struthiomimus and Gallimimus in here, and then I do not need to worry. Have our 100 adventure guests. Right, so in order to do that, we'll probably need a tour. So we'll go in here, we'll get this. Uh, where's cheaper research? There it is. There it is. Boom! Done and done. Saving money and lives. I don't know how we're saving that. It just rolled off the top. <laughs> right, so let's just make sure that they've got what they need. They need ground leaf. Uh, which there appears to be an abundance of. Open space is slowly going. Yeah, they're fine. The momentous. This is just going to be loads of herbivores. I could probably even stick in uh, the paras in here. And the paras would be fine too. You know what? Saying that, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Or do I? We'll save it. Because this could be a velociraptor exhibit if I do need more species. So we'll just wait on that research to go. Now, where do I put it? Where do I put it? Because I've got... I guess I could just have it go through the T-Rex exhibit and this one. Go around, fit through here, go across here, go across here, go back around, and then... We'll see. Okay, so we'll put it here. We'll put the tour here, start on, and then we'll just loop for the T-Rexes and the Mementosauruses. And because it's going through T-Rex, hopefully, uh, we should get a lot of guests. Here we go, there's adventure. It's the fire. That's adventure guests. So we'll put that there. Um, right, okay, I'm going to go quite high. Because we need to leave enough space for uh, everybody else. So we're going to pop that there. Pop that there. Um, and then we can ooh, just go around. We need to be a bit careful. Because remember, it can't go through water. Good grief. If it could go through water. Uh, and then we have it go sharp here. Then through here. This way. That way. All the ways. Um, probably this way. That way, this way, that way, and done. Next thing is just a little bit of power. <gasps> little bit of power. And boom! Oh, crud. I've just realized I've done this. Is it possible? Yes! There we go! Beautiful! So we should be getting adventure guests in now that we've got that up and running. It's just going to take a while for the tour to sort of go around. Is it the Jurassic Park? 
<gasps> oh, it's going around the other way. Ooh. Edit tour. Am I allowed to put the gates in? <gasps> da, 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 oh, no! What are the gates? Damn it. Hold on. I'm not happy with that. I'm going to delete this. Sorry. Yeah, I apologize. You're going to have to wait for a second. <laughs> yes. We're going to do it. Park tour. Concrete tour. I don't want a tour gate. I want this gate. Yes. Now you. No, that's not it. There we go. Wait, what? How can I go through? Oh, I was going to say, we can't not have a Jurassic Park gate. It has. We have to have a gate. Oh, good lord. Undiagnosed ailment. Okay, we're going to have to make a paleomedical facility. Oh, I've already got one. I don't need to research it. Ah, brilliant. All right. I thought I could do without it, but apparently I can't. Because it's probably some avian flu or something. I'm expecting the compies to die or the first one that got it to die, possibly. But it doesn't look like he's dying. Go on then. Off you, pup. Go look at him. Because something... Are the dinosaurs catching it? Oh, is the T... Oh, no. T-Rex hasn't got it. That's good. That's good. So, 100 adventure guests. We need a park rating of three stars. Increase total dinosaur species by one more. And unfortunately... Ah! It's a bit awkward. Uh, Patasaur. Okay, I can't make that. Uh, anything else? Okay, I guess let's just go to a dig site and have a look to see what we can make. Celiophysis... Dryosaur? Oh, Dryosaur could be good. Yeah! Yeah, I've never... I don't think I've ever made a Dryosaur. Cheaper expectation. Expectations! Yeah, there we go. So it's going to take two seconds. Okay, what is the disease? Oh, no! Okay, I talked about this with Evolution Squared, about how they've worked, you know, the common cold. I get quarantining dinosaurs. That's a good idea. But in practice, it's bloody messy. <laughs> And that's that's a bit of a shame. Bit of a shame. Okay, so yeah, they want a lot of food. Okay, so we're gonna... I mean, the thing is, when I first played this, I tried placing down medium amenities, but they just... It just didn't seem to work because um, the need and the running cost... The running cost for them is a lot higher than these regular ones. Um, oh, this is actually quite good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're probably gonna have to make one work and one not, yeah thought so. Um, so you need to have loads of attractions near a medium amenity, I, I found anyway. But that could just be me. Right, okay. So they got the common cold, and basically, if you if you catch it quick enough, yes, I guess you can um, like, quarantine a dinosaur, but you have to be super quick on it, and it doesn't recognize it right away, which is a bit of a bugger. Alright, so one, two, three, four. There you go. Beautiful. In fact, I can take that out and get that amber as well. Uh, so we need that. That'll do. Just put in more. Put in more! And then put Robert Devos on a rest. He's earned it. So how are the Gallimimuses? Oh, so the Streety Mimus doing that? They're fine. Uh, are they out of range of the thing? No, they shouldn't be. They should be completely fine. Um, and now we'll just keep on going. Keep on going. Untreatable disease. Yeah, I know, but I just, just freaking can't do anything about it. Ugh. Just You just have to medicate them just so they've got enough health so if they do develop pneumonia, they survive. Uh, running low on this, that's fine. I think it does tell you as well, every time you do a checkup on a dinosaur, um, just how that's going. Like, um, how much fuel it costs, sorry, I should say. So, one, two, three. I think that's fine. Five, and you're done. And now we need to send the dig team back out eh, to Dryosaur. Now, where was it? There's Dryosaur. Is there another Dryosaur? Okay, we'll just do one. I mean, I don't really need the most DNA out of it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm... Oh, God. Yes, we'll also check these guys because they've got an ailment. But if they're going to die, uh, kind of okay because we have way too many Dilophosaurs. Which one was it? Was it the... Oh, lovely. Oh, that must be the green one. But, oh my god, the shadow being cast on it makes it look black. <laughs> I love looking at my dinosaurs when they, they look like this and I can't tell them apart. Brilliant. Oh, an injury. I thought it would be an internal bleeding and I don't know what that one had. Laceration B. <laughs> I mean, we lose rating, I suppose, and we probably could have three stars if we'd fixed it. Yeah, pneumonia. Okay. You're going to have to fix these guys as well, unfortunately. Low health, low health, low health, low health, low health. And everyone else? Yeah? Anyone else? You get one. You get one. 
Vulnerable. Ooh. That's an interesting one. Combat. Oh, I assume it's going to be one of these where you have to... Uh, what's it called? Scientist limit. Oh. Do I not have enough genetics? Oh, I don't. Okay, so what we'll do instead is we'll go to... What? No. I don't need a calamus, it's fine. Uh, I'll go to structure and make sure that I can... I mean, really, we want to get to that, don't we? So make that the pinned one. So increase staff center building capacity and scientist training up to level two. Perfect. Uh, and that's logistics, isn't it? So bah! <laughs> Done in a minute. So I'm researching that. And then I'll be able to increase the limit of what they can do. Uh, sort of handle, and then we'll make sure that none of the dryosaurs are vulnerable, because we don't really want to worry about that. <laughs> Dinosaur fight begun! It's dead. <laughs> that was probably because he was low on health. And that guy, oh, wait, did they both kill it? Oh, the two weak ones went to attack each other? Oh, perfect! So, oh, there's the mangrove one. Oh, lovely, look at you. Pretty girl. Right, so we're doing really well. I mean, what is the in-game time on? Let's have a look. Oh, there isn't a part-time. Uh -huh, okay, well, I've been recording for about 15 minutes. And I don't think all of that is including this. So we're researching level 2 or level 3, I think it is, of the staff. Because that wasn't enough, unfortunately, to bring them up. Uh, because I couldn't get him. And he's got so much potential for genetics. Um, also her, so we'll go for her. And then we'll put him on a rest. So, now I should be able to get that gene. It was a little bit dicey. So, seven, and then you, and then one more to make cheaper research. And dum ba da dum All done. There was something about genetics there. Hold on. Uh, what was that? I haven't seen that before. Uh, in here. What's, what's this stuff? What's temperate skin? Oh, these are certain skins. Ah. Okay, I didn't realize that. You can research this. Oh, God! I saw that. Did I get hit by a compi? Went boink. <laughs> I think it did, actually. Oh, how does a Mementosaurus sit like that? Oh, look who's pretty. Research friggin' done. Let's fix this dryosaur. I mean, would it have made much of a difference? Ooh, I like that one. Ooh, it's like a teal. It would have made much difference. Yeah, probably not. There you go. That'll do. No chance of it having that problem. Uh, faster s synthesis? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right, because it's the genetics, and I've increased that so much. So, yeah, you do it as well. And then we'll have dryosaurs in our pack in no time. Six of those. Uh, you know what? We're probably okay. Yeah, there you go. It's only three, so we can probably do the same with these guys as well. And we'll put as many as we can on. Oh, look at all these dryosaurs. So many. Uh, what's the... These ones. One, two. Yep, there you go. And then we'll rest those guys. I should probably uh, increase them. Because all I've done is genetics so far on increasing. So everything's looking... Look at that. Oh, look at the water refractions in the bottom. And the shadow and the... Oh... Oh, I think... Did Jurassic World Evolution 1 have it? I don't think it did. We've also got our profit up, which is fantastic. And release! So that's eight species, I'm assuming. Yep, there we go. We're over three. So oh, I loved it. I love this skin. That's great. You look so pretty. So do you. Oh. <laughs> right, well, that's done. Well, it said have a part reach three stars, and now apparently it's not. Oh, that's because they're not happy in it. Okay, let's have a look. What do you want? What are you guys after? You want ground fiber. And you want water. Well, you're going to find that. And you know what? I'll put... Oh, I need a little bit bigger. You're not really exploring much. That's the problem. And then there we go. That should take us to three stars. And then we need adventure guests, apparently, which is really down. And I don't know why that is. Oh, they're cute. They're pecking each other. Gorgeous. Grooming. Grooming each other. I'm assuming everything else is going to be okay with them. Oh, comforts went down a little bit because they need more tall leaf. But that's fine because they didn't really have much anyway. Yeah, there you go. Sorted. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dead dinosaur. What a shame. <laughs> Should we just make raptors anyway? Because we're going to need to make this five stars, aren't we? So we might as well just go for raptors. Because I think they're pretty good. Ooh, hold on. No, Carnotaurus is like 200 each. Let's go for Carnotaurus. Or at least it was when I did my challenge mode uh, with Evo, Evo Squared, so. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Can I not view from the amphitheater? Aw, 
Local dinosaur appeal. Oh, because it sees everything. Ah! Or at least does it. No, it looks like it just sees things in the middle. Kind of a waste. I remember when the concept art, it had, um... What was it? It had, uh, like, dinosaur, the cages going into it. So it, it was almost like it would switch in dinosaurs and stuff like that. And it is a bit of a shame, and I haven't really talked about this in particular, that um, we, we have this kind of situation instead of it being in a city, because that's where it was in the lore, in the movie. And unfortunately, it's now in, like, a barren wasteland, which you can see San Diego over there, but nah. <laughs> they have been San Diego. So it is, it, is it is accurate, so that's cool. Attracts guest. Okay. I, I mean, I guess we can put it there. Desired by... Edit? Attraction? Cinema. Desired by everybody. Okay, I'll give you a cinema then. I don't know. If so. <laughs> I've never really used that, but that's interesting because, I mean, if you just have the game as normal, you do tend to find that the majority of your guests are general or nature lovers. So I just never noticed that before. You need an attraction. Maybe you need to research that. That's interesting. Okay, okay. 61% faster on that. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now we've got over 100 guests that are that. So we've got a Inskino. There you go. There's some German for you. You can watch some Ega, which is Japanese for film. Oh, well, another language is here. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to do Espanol. I don't know it. I don't really know Spanish, which is shocking, I know. Um, it's interesting, actually, because in America, I think you're, you're sort of taught Spanish. Um... And in England, or at least when I grew up, uh, when I went to school, it was either French or German. That was it. When really, it should really be in Spanish. Like, because Spanish is spoken, like, everywhere. Or so frequently all, all over. I mean, you've got Spain, Mexico, a part of the Philippines, anywhere that Spain sort of, you know, <laughs> conquered. <laughs> uh, Spanish is quite prevalent in them. Like guapo. Guapo and guapo. Which is, like... Filipino for beautiful, but also it is Spanish, so it's beautiful as well. This is interesting. I do, I do quite like that. Right, um, we are going to need another response facility because we've got too many exhibits, and um, it's just I find if you want to make a five-star park, make two response facilities and make two vets. Like it, it's going to cost you, but at this point, by the time you need them, it doesn't cost you really because you've you've already got everything. Um, You've got that many dinosaurs, you're making that much profit. But it just helps, it helps to have multiple uh, jeeps going around the park. I am really struggling now to get this up to three stars. I don't know what happened. Something must have happened where a need was wanted or a, a crowding happened. And, or a toilet? Oh, beautiful. Oh, Carnotaurus is going to be done. So the way genetics work, it's a bit like the first one. The first game where... If you have a full genome, then you can unlock all the edits of that dinosaur. So you can, you know, put so much through the roof and, and what have you. Um, like uh, attack and all that jazz. But with this one, it's, it is kind of the samey, but it, it's only... You can't max out a, an attack stat. Um, each dinosaur have their own limit to certain things that you can edit. Okay, so let's have a look. So what we got? We got a logistics specialist there. So you can go to seven. We've got, oh, another logistics specialist. You can go up high. We got a welfare specialist. You can go up high. And then we got a bit of a mix. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, we, uh, welfare is really low, except for that nine, so I might as well just put them up. And that's another good thing about scientists. You just, you, you know, you can figure. It, oh, I love it. I love it so much. Okay, so we need power now. I'm assuming that we've, yeah, 60 out of 60. So we could research bigger power station, or we can just make another one and just connect it. <laughs> that that seems to be the the cheapest alternative because not only are you going to spend money on researching, but then you got to build a larger one. It's going to cost more. Oh no! Oh, the same glitch happened again. A freaking starving dryo got caught in the thing. God damn it! Okay, there is a glitch with Dryosaur. Maybe no one's made Dryosaur. Bless it, so no one's noticed. Frontier, please watch this. Or could somebody, like, at Frontier on Twitter, if I forget, um, about Dryosaur? Because that's so sad. <laughs> so, uh, was it cheaper synthesis? Oh, I don't have it. Okie dokie. Right, I'm, I'm gonna guess we're probably okay. Also, what I will do is I will research the, uh, this. Because I did it in the Evo, uh... 
playthrough I did with her and it just felt like it helped a lot. I got loads more dinosaurs, more yield, um, and I, I didn't really add the other thing. I think maybe I did, I just out of curiosity. Um, I don't know what it is again. It's, because uh, you can do both, right? Or is it just one? Oh, is it just one? No, they're both open. Okay, so additional bays and advanced equipment. It just meant that if I wanted to make multiples of the same one, I could. So you see, we've got one there, but the rest is... So we'll do faster re uh, synthesis now. And seven, so that's super quick. And we'll do another one as well. Because remember, we, we don't have to. We don't have to stick with that, that dinosaur. We can always just scrap the eggs. So that's what we got here. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. We've got two good ones there. Uh, we need... Where's our specialist? There he is. And then I think the other guy can have some help. Yeah, he can have some help. So perfect. There we go. So we got... Whoa. Oh, I was going to say, why is that one so quick? But no, that was the second one we did. That's got, that's got one guy and he's a boss. He's got it in the bag. All right. When a sandstorm comes, I think all I need to do is just add like some sneaky generators around. Because as long as I have that... And as long as it's covering, you know, a certain portion of the park. Yeah, look at that. Nothing's out of power now. So the storm doesn't affect me at all. We've got more Dilophosauruses that are a bit sick. Oh, look at that. Look at the colors. Look at that. Oh, it's so good. I know it's sped up, but look at them. Look at her there. It's like, you're weak. You must die. <laughs> you must die. Guess comfort low. <gasps> Well, yeah, that's because they're all stuck in shelters, aren't they? As soon as I open that, we'll be good to go. So I think we got Carnotauruses ready. Uh, well, yes, we'll release it by that, because if I just release it into that enclosure, it's not going to be so good. Uh, and I can't do the other one, so... I th oh, maybe that's a bit too small for a Carnotaurus. I think they want sand. I'm going to I'm gonna hazard a guess. My muscle memory is picking up that they wanted sand. And maybe... Maybe some forest? No, that's probably... We can't have forest on this map. I think that's probably the Allosaur I'm thinking of. So, fire airlift. Got to have the albinos as well. Oh, but the... Yes! Oh, God, sorry. Uh, they definitely do need water. I'm sorry, I'm sure there's going to be somebody that's super annoyed at me for constantly clicking escape. I'm, I'm just so used to it with evolution, the, uh, the first one. So let's see, where's the first one coming? Hello, I'm still not over three stars and I don't know why. I think it's because I only have so much capacity because I've got one hotel. So if I make another hotel, I think we should be good. So I'm going to make it there. And I think we're good. I could research bigger hotels, but sod it. All right, how you doing? Water, you found it. Population's fine. Open space is good. Area's a little bit low. With more being dropped in, or is it expanding out? Oh, look, are they going to butt heads? Bah, yeah. And there should be a third one coming in now, yeah. So actually, they're okay. And majority of the time, I find I don't need to research bigger fences, which I actually don't think I've ever done. Uh, so uh, even in sandbox, I don't have them. Uh, so we still need to reach three stars. <laughs> My God, what's wrong with you? Is it glitched? Oh, there we go. new land that's available to build on. We can expand the park. Again? Really make it something. I don't need to. Six million? Are we just throwing money away now? I mean, I'm still working within my bounds, I think. Oh, no, I think I got... Yeah, I think that might be in the boundary there. But I don't know, man. I think I think we're pretty good. How many dialogues do I have? One, two, three, four. And then we got this guy in low health and then this guy in low health. But they're probably going to kill each other. I don't know why they're unhappy. I think they're all good. Maybe they, maybe they have negative traits. I don't know. But let's go in here. Let's research. Now that I have the money, I'm assuming it's logistics. It is a nine logistics. So one, two, three. Cheaper research. So instead of six million, it only cost me four point odd. And I need to remember to put you on a break. And you on a break. I love the... Oh, it's so good. You can change it. You can like set it and sort it. Oh, gorgeous. So did you need sand? Yes, you did. You need more sand. Aha, I'm glad I noticed that. Got a little bit more sand. There you go. You're happy with loads of sand. Jurassic Park San Diego. We really did bring it back from the brink. And the dinosaurs back from beyond it. There's still more to do if we're to see the facility at its peak. More land should help. I would more. think that more guests and more dinosaurs more. with a greater variety of species more. would work as well. Correct. Let's get our park rating up across the board. What do you think, Dr. Malcolm? Well, 
You know, Thomas Edison uh, once said that just because something doesn't go as planned doesn't mean that it's useless. And when it comes to Jurassic Park, that has surprisingly turned out to be true. 45 for now. So perhaps what's been achieved in San Diego is a tribute to those who would never leave the island. A painful and tragic legacy, but one that would be the foundation of a world forever changed by resurrecting its past and then turning it into theme park attractions. The fact that no one could have predicted the dinosaurs and humans would breathe the same air uh, gives me pause. <laughs> and it also, uh, it also makes me smile. <laughs> Jeff, what was that? Don't we have like a language uh, dude now uh, at Frontier? Oh, gives me, oh, gets me excited. <laughs> <That's>, ooh, <laughs> Jeff, please slow down. I need to hear that again. Uh, it also makes me smile. Oh, no, on loop. Jesus, excited, excited, excited. <laughs> that was an interesting choice. All right, I'm seeing why. Um, uh, why, uh, what you called, uh, Evo Squared said it's a bit meme -y. Yes, that was meme <laughs> Jeff, what you doing? Control yourself. There's children present. <laughs> okay, so I'm now, like, wondering what do I want to put in here? Because we need to increase the population by one, but then we also need to get five stars and increase our profitability. So... Um, there's a couple of things we need to research to do this. We need comfort. So that's what I've just done, I think. Or is it this one? So we've got large hotels. Um, I think it's luxury thoroughfare, luxury wide. I think we're good. Luxury wide path. It's amenities. My bad, it's here. This is what we need to do. So once we research this, uh, we should be good. I don't think... Oh, okay, we're gonna have to put some people on rest. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I think there was one or two there that would have been happy to work on it, but uh, I think um, I think if I just sort of work on these these enclosures here, um, I think you know just kind of making as many enclosures within the given space and trying to figure out what dinosaurs I can put in, because uh, I can't do lagoons or anything, which is a bit of a shame, because I would have loved to otherwise, um, and then I would have only had so much space and it would have really covered it all. Uh, also, need to make sure that every every dinosaur is visible because that is a problem when it comes to this game. Is that if dinosaurs aren't visible, you receive a slight penalty. So, uh, is, am I able to do that? It's blue for a second, but I don't think so. I think this is probably going to be the easiest. Oh, too close to a dinosaur! Oh, you buggers! Move away! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> See now with the modified stuff, how this will affect it. So we can get there. So now we make 12,000. Jesus! That made such a difference. So do that. 16,000. So we're going from 40, 14,000. Yeah, not doing too good. You put a TV in there and you're making so much money. How does that work? Uh, let's do that. And then we'll get that. And 3,000. Okay, so that's that's still not too great. Okay, so if I want to make a profit, I just go through here, so give me a second, guys. Oh, yeah! Wow, that was a huge jump up. 225%. I should go to business school. I'd make millions. I think it's time. We need to go to uh, Velociraptors. 100%. But uh, what we'll do is we'll also... Yeah, most things are viewable there. Um... Oh, God. <laughs> Just used to making toilets. Everybody needs the loo. We'll go there as well. And then, you know, I th this is definitely enough to get us to four stars. What we can do is we can add loads of stuff up here. We can add, like, another hotel. We'll put a hotel on the end there. And along this stretch, we can just put, you know, the usual, the usual suspects. Do we really need, like, dinosaurs or anything to to pull in these types of people who want bubble tea? I don't think we do. Oh my god! Jesus! Whoa! We need... There's so many high-paying people here. I guess that's because we're close to a hotel, isn't it? Good lord. That's crazy. Luxury guests like bubble tea, apparently. 
Yay! We're almost at four stars and I haven't even put anything in. That's brilliant. And we're almost at 750,000 profit. And I haven't like, I've just been doing research. <laughs> like, what's the money situation? Who's making money? Who's not? Everything's making money. I'm a, I'm a genius. Am I able to do that right off the bat? I am for 200,000. Um, cheaper research, seven bottles, and I'll go with them, sure. We'll make them more exhausted because I'm a ruthless. I'm ruthless. Right, okay. Let's see how many fossils we got here. Whoa, five, ten, four, three. Oh, all the raptors. Done. And, you know, I'm going to put you in there anyway. Great, let's modify your genome. Bop, bop. Oh, okay. Well, we'll wait until we've got more extraction because with that last fossils uh, research, I think we'll be able to pump it up so it's zero percent. Zero. Zero percent that we'll be able to have any intolerant raptors because that's a nuisance. A bit like the Dilophosaurus just killing each other all the time. It's like, uh. Oh, that no, 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 no. That's that's Dilophosaurus. Ooh, almost made the wrong dinosaur there. That wouldn't have been very good. Right, synthesize Velociraptors up here now. We'll jump into its thing. Yep, and one, two, three, done. And there you go. So 25% for it to be social and 50% chance for it to be a good girl. Disease contracted. Tabo- Oh, rabies! Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Direct control. F. Where's the rabies culprit? I think it's you! Uh... I think- Was that it? Yeah, I think that was it. Okay. So now... I think if I take control of you, we can now go on to here. And now we should be able to research rabies. Nine. Oh, he can do it by himself. Brilliant. Thank God, because everyone else isn't happy with this. Look, we're, we're making a new world here. That's what we're doing. We're doing we're doing God's work. All right. Just got to wait for the research to be done, which is now. And there you go. Aw. I thought only carnivores could get rabies. Or am I thinking of JPOG? Yeah, probably. Everything. It all stems from JPOG. Oh, God. That is a terrible batch. Discard those. I thought we said, like, we, there was no chance of being intolerant. <laughs> oh. Ho, ho, ho. That was beautiful. Heck yeah. Uh, that'll do. And then I don't know if I can do this one. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm out of money, though. How much is it? Oh, now I can do it. I've, I've just... I've scraped me pennies together. Uh, yeah, that'll do. And yeah, go on. We'll put the other guy on as well. Why not? And then... Where should we put them? We've still got this. And I think this is probably fine for them. How much does it cost for some water? A little bit of water. That's a lot of water. And how much for this? A hundred grand for a goat? Jesus! Right, here we go. Let's see what we got from Madagascar. Uh, three, four, two, two, three, one, 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 one. Oh my god, that is beautiful. However, I'm still waiting for someone with genetics to do it. <laughs> Wait, what? Did somebody else? <gasps> somebody else got it. Somebody else got rabies, that dryer saw. The cheeky bugger it. Go on then, heal it. I think we've done perfectly well here. Look at this. This is gorgeous. So good. Dinosaur ready in the hatchery. Okay, so that is the... So many raptors there. And then we'll end up getting the other batch, but I can't do it without... I mean, it might even be quicker to release them all and quickly dart them and then transport them all. But the, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a hands-off approach, isn't it? So as soon as we put those raptors in, I'm expecting us to go to four stars and to make a profit with all of these things that are here. We will probably need a shelter. And we will also need a toilet. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Should we put another one? I really should research the bigger. The only thing I, I would research is a bigger pylon. Like, the, or substation, I should say. Everything else is perfect. I think we're good. Once those raptors get taken in, I think that's it. Fire airlift, these two as well. One and a two. Right. Let's have a look. Are you okay? I'm a boss! And of course, it's the... Oh, the... the, the lost world wrapped. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. I'm glad I've unlocked this skin. Because out of all the raptors, my boys... Oh, girls. I love them. I guess they're... Well, they just change sex from sex, don't they? In a single-sex environment. Go okay, we'll speed that up. As soon as they're put in, I'd, I would assume... I mean, we're probably going to see a bit more want and need around the area. Maybe a bit more foot traffic. 
Oh god, yes. Ooh. Drinks is through the roof over here. Lord. Really want a drink, don't you? No, other way. Okay, we're turning all the way around. <laughs> there you go. Go on then. Boop. And actually, I should be able to just change all this. So just, just get the best ones. That. That. And that. And there we go. Boom. More drinks. More profit. Transmission. Oh, we did it. Not making the same mistakes again. But I haven't even got it to five stars. I thought I thought everyone was to get the, just four stars. That was it? Do we get an achievement for getting five stars? I would assume we get an achievement for five stars. I can't just leave it like that. But I I guess I can. It it's over. Okay. Well guys, if you've enjoyed that video, leave a like. We've got Jurassic Park 3 around the corner and I've seen people's videos lengths and it's like half an hour, so it's going to be a quick one. But if you're excited, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.